Ahoy, it's Late Entity, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It is a spooky month, and I think it'll be awesome to do a Halloween-inspired build. I've chosen to do a black cat, and this video will double as both of a speed build and a tutorial as to how I do what I do. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe down below, share and comment on this video. And now it is time for us to go into it. So I've chosen an assortment of blocks uh, that are variants of black because you don't want the build to look too plain. Don't do it. Since I'm building black cat, I have chosen black walls, coal block, black concrete and some black stone variants that can be added as contrast. Now, you probably notice that I'm constantly breaking and redoing this part, which is supposed to be one of the back legs to the cat. If you look at the anatomy of the cat, the hind legs follow a curve that connects to the hip, and then depending on the stance of the leg, will follow straight down, or you'll see their little toes poking out. I often start out with the legs as a good foundation because, well, <laughs> they are the foundation. From here though, once I am satisfied with the leg, I pad it out with various blocks. There is no blueprints as to how I do this. This process involves a lot of randomization, guesswork, and references as to what I build. So you just have to keep watching the video, I guess. <laughs> Once I've completed this leg, I move on to the stomach. I wanted to make sure that the stomach arches a bit to prevent it looking too stiff. However, I didn't want to make it too curved to the point where the cat has scoliosis or something. I wanted a happy middle, so I kept breaking and placing until the curve was gradual. It was also important to make sure that the stomach was not too short, so that it wouldn't create a hunchback or too long to make it look like it got spaghettified. Once I thickened out the cat on one side, I move on to the other leg. Now, this leg is different because when observing a cat, it lacks the same arch as its hind leg, but instead has a slight kink where the joint is, following a straight leg, again leading to the toes. Now, looking back on this, I wish I gave the cat toe beans, and I know that I wouldn't see them, or you guys wouldn't see them in the final build. <laughs> I can't speak. But it would be nice to know that they're little toe beans. I went in to thicken the stomach now in preparation for the other side. I often like to put an odd number of blocks in between the two legs adjacent to each other. Trust me when I say this will make it so much easier to create a center. Now I know you guys are kind of watching me pat out the stomach and stuff, but let me ask you a question. What is your favourite part of Halloween? Mine is the pumpkin carving, but I would love to know what your favourite part of Halloween is. Or do you even like Halloween? Because some people don't. I love it. <laughs> Once satisfied, I started adding the other leg to the cat. This time, however, I needed to change it just a bit slightly so the leg was not aligned with the other leg. Now hear me out on this and hear me good. Whenever you're drawing, pottery, painting, whatever, do not make it look static. Don't do it. make the drawing look alive by putting in a pose that conveys some sort of action. In this case, I wanted it to look like the cat was walking, so I put the legs slightly behind the other leg. I've then done the same thing for the hind leg, repeating the same process. It was getting slightly easier to do this as I have laid down the foundations beforehand and was getting used to the chosen palette. I feel like as you commit to something, the longer you invest in it, the more it comes together.
after being happy with all of the limbs, I move on to the tail. I do have a bit of a habit of making tails longer than they should be anatomical wise. Well, because I like it. But the main aim of this part uh, was to create an arch to simulate a bouncing motion when the cat walks with its tail following close behind. Afterwards, I then fattened up the tail uh, so it doesn't look like just a wet noodle. Now, doing the head was slightly tricky, especially since I don't build full heads regularly. And if I do, then it will be a side shot. However, along with altering the neck to make sure that it was fleshed out and not stick, I attempted to round out the cat's face. I also wanted the face to be thick enough to add on eyes that are the appropriate size. This avoids it to make it get derpy. It's kind of sad and funny at the same time because you could build the most amazing build and you could just derp fat in a blink of an eye by adding eyes that now make the build look like a ditto. Do not make the build look like a ditto. Unless you're building a ditto, then build dittos all you want. Anywho, I wanted to give the cat orange eyes, so I was experimenting a lot with different shades of orange. And this part was pretty difficult because I didn't really know what shades of orange I was working on. I was kind of looking at orange concrete, copper. I was not too sure with this part, so you kind of see me struggling. And by some experimentation, breaking and placing, I was set on the eyes and then I decided to add a little glimmer in them, because why not? And there you go, you have a cute kitty cat! I know this wasn't too in depth and the reason why I didn't tell you how many blocks place and exactly where is because I don't want you to build exactly what I build. I want you to take these tips and apply them to your own so hopefully you can do so much better than I can. Yes, 